It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Wake up, Hong Kong. The Spirit of God is with you. Do you have problems? We have the solution. Where can you find the solution to your problem? During this evening program, we are going to let you know about the answer of this question. Because maybe you need solution. But let us watch first the testimony of Nora. After that, I'll be back with all of you. Hi, we have with us here today Nora Monteglico, who's going to be sharing with us about her life before and how she overcame problems that she was facing. So thank you so much for joining us today, Nora. Um, please kindly share with us what situations you were facing before in the past in the different areas of your life. Yes. Uh, before I come into the church, I'm very shy. I don't want to talk to anybody. And uh, I'm very sensitive mm -hmm. and also because of my I have grudges with my sisters and my siblings and also to my husband because of infidelity mm -hmm. uh, she put all the blame to me so it's so hard for me to overcome all these things mm -hmm. and I try to we uh, live in my mother's home and then I tried to buy a house for me, but I failed for two times. I cannot make it. How come you failed? Uh, before my husband lost the job, and then we cannot get the house. Mm -hmm. So all is all is started not finished. And you weren't able to save any money along the yes. way. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly my eldest son have a depression. Always get sick. He cannot work because of his marriage problem. Mm -hmm. They always fight, they're always separated like mm -hmm. that. And my son-in-law had a sickness, got operated, and they said she will need to pay uh, at least 60,000 to 100,000 pesos for the surgery of her his prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And also my daughter had a car accident and the car is totally damaged before. And how is she after the accident? She's okay. She's okay, but the car was obviously they lost the investment, which was the car, right? Yes. So, um, anything else that you're facing? Or? Uh, my finance is not really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is happening. Mm -hmm. Even I work hard, I cannot see the money in my hands. The fruit of your labor, nothing yes. would happen. Yes. You keep working, working, but it's yeah. like you had a hole in your working pocket. Working and working and praying and praying because uh, and the other because I'm very religious before. Mm -hmm. I need to pray, 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 but nothing happened. But not enough action. Yes. <laughs> so then how did you start to try to overcome that? Because um, it seems you had a lot of problems in the family, health, and also well, every area, right? Love life, finances. How did you start to overcome all those situations you were facing? Yeah, when I came to Hong Kong, uh, I heard the UCK in radio program before mm -hmm. with Bishop Pang. Mm -hmm. So that somebody called me and then I came over here. Then since then, I don't stop here, just listen and listen and then... Why did you decide to come in the first place? Was it something that touched you in the message or something? Yeah, I just I just hear the message almost every day, every day the message. So I'm just thirsty to come in the church every Sunday. I never stop until now. I just go. And then I learned to use my faith. Mm -hmm. I put my faith in action. Uh, the word of God, I persevere, 
and I take prayers midnight in the morning I take fasting I make a chain of prayer mm -hmm. and I have to persevere in myself what did you do how, what did you do for yourself like did you have to let go of certain things or what did you have to do yeah I let go of the grudges mm -hmm. I forgive my sister uh, I forgive my husband mm -hmm. and my son uh, the marriage is restored. Mm -hmm. There are no loving, uh, understanding. There are no happy. Mm -hmm. And also my son-in-law, the surgery is success. And he only pay 200 pesos on the hospital bill. That's a big difference from 60,000 yes, yes. pesos. <laughs> yes. And my daughter, when got accident, the car is totally damaged. And the doctor is so amazed because she only got bruise in her body mm -hmm. so i believe that that is the god protection because i always pray for them mm -hmm. and i'm faithful to god i always do the action for them i join the campaign all the time i put the, all the prayer requests is small like that i always pray for them you did you prayed and then be this time you learn how to take action as yes, well right yes. Uh, what I think one of the important things as well is that you started working on yourself, right? Yes. So yeah. how about you today though? How are you now after letting go of all the grudges, etc.? Are you still really shy or still really sensitive? No. Today I have a self-confidence. I don't shy anymore. I let go of the past. I'm happy now. I have peace and I I see the solution here in UCKG Help Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, and I think because of that new confidence, yes. you were able to help your family even more. Yes, yes. Financially, everything is okay now? Oh, my finance is getting better now. I buy a toilet in a subdivision, so I have my own house now. Mm -hmm. And I have another source of income in the, in the Philippines, mm -hmm. doing by my siblings. Ah, so what was the difference? Because you said before you tried to invest before, you tried to buy a house before. So what was the difference when you came to UCKG? Like, was there a certain action you had to take instead? Because before you still were working, you still received income. So what was the difference when you came yeah. here? Uh, now I I have knowledge and wisdom God give me. So I I need to think first. I need to think and plan what should I do. Mm -hmm. And before you wouldn't really plan. So yeah, much. just do, 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 do. So before actually there was action, but there was not enough planning before. Yeah, <laughs> and now I have the God protection for me. So... I know I can conquer all my plans in the future. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing with us today and thanks for joining us. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me. We are back with all of you. Nona had many problems, frustrations in her life. Though a person may have many plans, projects for the future, it doesn't mean that the person will succeed. But let me read for you a very powerful verse from the Bible. May the Lord answer you when you are in trouble. May he send you help from his temple. May he give you what you desire and make all your plans succeed. Psalm 20 verses 1 to 2 and 4. Many people, they go abroad to work and they have many goals, projects in their mind. They say, I will go to a such place, work a couple of years, make money, and I will build my house, and I will go back home for good, and have a comfortable life. But why do many people fail to reach their goals in life? They want to buy a house, to open a business, to be rich, to be happily married, to have a good family. But most of people in this world, they are in trouble. And the answer is when the person is far from God. The person can be wise, 
intelligent, having skills, abilities, talents, a diploma, and be a hardworking person, but the person will find obstacles along the way that will be bigger than herself. That's when people will be stuck in their lives. I don't know how your life has been, but if you have a very troubled life, your goals cannot be reached. You have plans, but they don't succeed. You could watch in the testimony of Nora that she was facing a situation like this. Troubles in the marriage and also emotionally speaking, she was full of grudges, bad feelings. She was having a life filled with frustration, diseases in the family. She couldn't accomplish much until the time she came to the temple of God. As I was reading the Bible, God will send you help from his temple. Of course, God is present everywhere. You can pray at home and God can answer you. But in the temple, his presence is powerful. Your faith will be awakened and you will learn how to succeed in life. Maybe you are facing now a serious problem in your marriage. There was a betrayal. You are at the blink of a divorce or separation. You lost your money, hope. You don't know what to do. And maybe you feel that you hit the end of your life. But... I want to tell you right now, the same way Nora found solution to her problems and God changed her life. Your life can be changed as well. It's up to you. If you take a step of faith and you come to God's temple and you learn how to put your faith in action, you will overcome your problems and all your plans will succeed. Maybe you are in the midst of a storm, having many troubles right now, but God is greater than all these troubles. He can protect you and give you peace. I would like you to prepare a glass of water or a bottle of water. We are going to minister the blessing of God upon your life. I have my glass of water over here, and I believe you have yours. Please stretch out your hand in the direction of mine. Let us bind your victory. In this moment, my God and Father, I pray asking you to send help from your temple to the ones who are in trouble. People who have many plans in their minds, but maybe they are stuck in life. Having many obstacles along the way, they don't find the strength to move on. Empower them and let them find strength in you in order to be successful. With you, their plans will succeed. The marriage will be happy. These people will prosper financially, having a united family and a bright future. My Lord, if there are evil spirits blocking their ways, Cast these demons out and give to your people full protection and salvation. We bless the water and when they drink of the water that we hold in our hands, let the hopeless become full of hope again. They will dream big, they will move on and they will achieve success in life. 
We bless the water, your life and your family, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's drink the water together. All right, we believe you are blessed. You find help from God in the temple of God. Therefore, the doors of our UCKG Help Center in Hong Kong are opened every day. You can find help here in our church in Shengshawan, Kowloon, Hong Kong. If you are facing many troubles in life, you don't know what to do, you feel hopeless, you can send us a message via WhatsApp explaining about your situation. We will get back to you. So tomorrow we are going to be back again here at the same time, at the same station, in order to show you the solution to your problems. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. That's fine with me!